Thunderstorms are a common occurrence for many commercial flights across the world, and passengers might worry about what effects the storm might have on their plane. When thunderstorms are predicted, pilots might fly around or above them to avoid turbulence, or in many cases your flight is delayed because of potential risks associated with takeoff and landing in a storm, like poor visibility, extreme turbulence, and lightning. But weather can change rapidly and sometimes a flight still ends up passing through stormy clouds while at cruising altitudes. Planes are built to withstand heavy rain and winds and can easily maneuver through a storm cell. However, with thunderstorms comes lightning. Lightning, as you probably know, is attracted to metal, which would make your plane the perfect target for a lightning strike. So, what happens if lightning strikes your plane? The thought of lightning hitting an airplane might sound scary and could make someone think the airplane might catch fire or explode as a result. According to Boeing, lightning strikes are most common at altitudes between 5,000 and 15,000 feet, 70% of which occur while raining. And according to the FAA, it is still possible for a plane to be struck by lightning even if it is miles away from a storm cell. But planes get struck by lightning almost every day and each individual commercial plane is struck at least once a year. So how does the plane withstand a lightning strike and is it dangerous? Lightning typically hits areas of the plane that protrude from the main cabin like the wingtips, the tail, or the nose. The fuselage is made of aluminum, the fourth most conductive metal, but the airplane is purposefully designed so that the passenger cabin will be unaffected by electricity caused by lightning strike. When lightning strikes, the fuselage acts as a Faraday cage. If lightning were to strike the nose of the plane, the electricity is redistributed throughout the exterior of the fuselage and runs all the way to the tail, leaving the passengers inside safe and sound. Areas that are likely to be struck by lightning are reinforced with protective material like wire mesh, shields, and special coating to reduce impact. In the case of composite aircraft, where the fuselage is made of multiple materials such as carbon fiber, fiberglass, or Kevlar, the plane is reinforced with copper or aluminum mesh in the outer layers of the fuselage skin. After a plane is struck by lightning, it is reported by the pilots and the aircraft is thoroughly inspected. If lightning does strike an airplane, it can puncture the exterior of the fuselage and leave small holes. It is also possible for lightning to affect aviation instruments such as the aircraft's compass and radio communications, but planes are reinforced with electromagnetic shielding and the impact is usually temporary. We talk a bit about this kind of shielding in one of our earlier episodes discussing the use of cell phones in flight. Several decades ago, safety for commercial aircraft was at a lower standard than it is now. In the past, it was more likely that a lightning strike could be dangerous to a flight. Such as in the case of Lanza Flight 508, lightning struck the engines and ignited a fuel tank causing the plane to crash. We cover this incident in the Black Box Down episode, Surviving a Fall from 21,000 Feet. But nowadays, every piece of the fuel system is reinforced to protect against this kind of scenario. Another danger of lightning is the flash of light that can temporarily blind pilots. So at night, the cockpit is lit to reduce the effect that the bright lightning has. However, situations like these are very rare and a pilot knows what to check for before they determine if any damage caused by lightning is dangerous. Most of the time, if lightning struck your flight, you probably wouldn't even notice. <laughs>